Ghana's President Nana Akufu Addo discussed regional and international issues with the EU's top diplomat on Saturday in Accra. On the occasion, Ghana received a fleet of some 100 armored vehicles from the European Union. Ghana, along with Gulf of Guinea neighbors Togo, Benin, and Ivory Coast, are increasingly at risk from jihadist violence wreaking havoc in the Sahel. It is imperative to understand that no single country can confront the terrorist threat on its own. Ghana's president said collaborative efforts among nations facing this challenge and a critical support from partners such as the European Union who share our security concerns remain crucial in mitigating the terrorist threat in the West African region. The delivery of um, military vehicles is officially part of aid that would later include aerial surveillance equipment and electronic warfare systems. In a statement, the EU said the Ghana aid was part of a broader 616 million euros package to strengthen defense and security of the four coastal countries of the Gulf of Guinea. While Ghana has not yet reported any jihadist attacks inside its territory, Beninese military say they have faced around 20 incursions from across the border since 2021. Togo has also suffered attacks on its northern frontier. European Union Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell said EU investment would also target job creation and services, especially in northern Ghana, where there are concerns jihadists seek to take advantage of social economic dissatisfaction.